Hey guys, Eric here from OneStarGuitarLessons.com. Come back at you with another quick request when we come back. All right, White Room. So for the most part, this is a great tune. Um, I don't know if I'd call it a beginner song. There are some chords that might be a little bit more difficult than others. However, let's go through it. Again, this isn't the exact way to play it. But we're going to start with a G minor chord to an F to a D minor and then ending on C again G minor F D minor C and then we're going to A minor 7 so, just a quick suggestion, you know, the drums are doing something specifically there. If you're playing it acoustic and by yourself, this is just something that I do. I actually play along to that rhythm part of the drums while I'm playing the chords. So, the beginning part would sound like this. Part, we're going to go from a D to a C at 9, a G slash B, B flat, C, back to D. So let's put that in context. In a white room with black curtains near the station. So basically, there's some really cool rhythm patterns going on. I'll write those up there so you can actually see them. Um, but I want to quickly mention from the B flat, I think a few times I went back to the regular C, but you could do C or you could do the C at 9 again. So in other words, I do it like this. That's the C at 9, then back to D. The other time I was going like this, B flat, C. So again, the great thing about it is there's no right or wrong. Whatever you feel most comfortable with, again, I'm just showing you a couple different ways to play it. So let's put the rhythm pattern, the strumming pattern up there for you so you can see it. the verse part. So we did the intro part, we did the verse part, and now we're going to head over to the chorus part. In the chorus part, we're going to go from C oh, to a G, this place, to B flat, so personal preference what you want to strum there just giving you a quick idea what you can strum for the most part those are the chords you need to know 